I... why all of those? You know, there's not a single pine cone in all of Scuppertown. I know. It's just... Oh, we're... oh! S sorry, Mandy. Hey, girls, that's okay. What are you up to today? We are looking for a pine cone. Do you know where we could find one? Uh, in Scuppertown, I don't think there are any. Well, then I guess it is time to go home. Hey, what are you doing? Zara, come on, let us just go home. Well, let's stay here for a little bit and, and, and see what Randy's doing. Okay, fine. Okay, girls, I want you to watch this. You see this glass jar? Uh-huh. This glass jar represents you and me. Now I want to take this solution and I'm going to add it to our glass jar. This solution represents Jesus and having Jesus in our lives. Pretty cool, huh, girls? Yeah! What are those? Oh, these over here? Yeah. These represent all of the problems, all of the difficulties that we're going to be facing in life. Oh, there sure are a lot of them. Yeah, but what we're trying to learn here, girls, is that we do not want to give up. No matter how many packing peanuts there are? Sort of. Well, let's see what happens when we start adding these problems into our life. Mm. Let me just keep adding these in, and then let me mix this up a little bit, and you're going to be amazed. Well, you know, sometimes we face problems and it can be really scary. Mm -hmm. Let me add a few more problems in here. But what we need to remember is that when we have God on our side, that nothing, nothing can overcome us. Isn't that cool? Wow, so, so maybe we should keep looking for that pine cone. Well, yes, girls. You know, it's always good to practice not giving up. Even when things get difficult, we need to keep trying and not give up. Okay, Zara, let us keep looking. Oh, okay. Hey, thanks, Randy. All right, girls, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Well... At least we tried. Yeah, but we couldn't find a single pine cone in all of Scuppeton. All I wanted was to be a Scuppet Scout and be like the people in this book. Who? Well, I was reading about the women in the Bible. They're really cool and... They did such amazing things. Really? I did not know that. Yeah, here. Look at Ruth. She was awesome. God's Story, Ruth. So part of God's Story is about a woman named Ruth. And it begins like this. Ruth lived in a place called Moab and was married to a guy who was part of God's special family the Israelites. A few years later, though, Ruth's husband died. Instead of returning to her family, which would have been expected, she stayed with Naomi, her husband's mom. Naomi tried to get Ruth to go back to her family in Moab, but Ruth wouldn't leave Naomi, no matter what. In fact, she wanted to go back to Israel with her. Ruth said, your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. So they both returned to Naomi's home in Bethlehem. Back then, though, it was hard for women to find work. Usually, they had to be taken care of by their husband or a dad. It's really hard to imagine that now, but Naomi and Ruth might not have even known how they'd survive. At first, to get food, Ruth went to the fields of a man named Boaz and followed his harvesters around. If they dropped anything, even just a piece of grain, she picked it up. This was called gleaning. 
Ruth worked from morning to night and barely even took a break. Boaz noticed. He told his workers to leave behind some extra grain for her to gather. When Naomi heard about this, she was overjoyed because Boaz was Naomi's relative and what's called a family redeemer. That meant that it was his responsibility to take care of his family. If anybody was going to rescue Ruth and Naomi, it was Boaz. Kids, we have a redeemer too. It's Jesus. He's the one who saves us. Anyway, this gave Naomi an idea. She told Ruth to put on her best clothes and perfume and then go to the place where Boaz was sleeping. Naomi said that once Boaz had gone to sleep, Ruth should lay down by his feet. Now, this may sound like a weird plan, but it was actually really brave. Ruth trusted Naomi and obeyed. When Boaz woke up, he was surprised. After all, someone was lying at his feet. That's not exactly a normal night. When Boaz asked who Ruth was, she said, I am your servant. You are my family redeemer. Now Boaz understood. Ruth wanted Boaz to marry her so that she and Naomi would both be taken care of. Boaz agreed. This was a huge deal. Ruth wasn't an Israelite, but she wanted to follow God anyway. By marrying Boaz, she got to officially be part of God's family. In fact, Ruth's great-grandson was King David, and many, many years later, Jesus, the rescuer, was born into the same family line. Now, because of Jesus, we get to be a part of God's family too. So, in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Ruth was from Moab. Her husband died. Ruth was left with his mom, Naomi. Naomi told her to go home. Ruth said no. She went to Israel with Naomi. They needed someone to take care of them. Ruth gleaned in a field. Boaz noticed. He left extra grain for Ruth. Naomi made a plan. Ruth obeyed it. She wanted to marry Boaz. He agreed. Ruth became part of God's special family. And we can too. And that's a part of God's story. See? Ruth was awesome. Oh, and she never gave up. Good morning, Scuppeton. Ow! <gasps> Abby! Abby! Look what I found! <gasps> you did it, Zara! You found the first thing on our scavenger hunt. It's okay, Zara. We won't give up until we find everything on that list. We will be Scuppet Scouts in no time. Yes! Well, there's just one thing I'm confused about. How did a pine cone find its way right outside of our tent, Abby? Some things we will never know. Me. 
he made everything. God loves me, he can do anything. If I run over here, if I run over there, God is everywhere, and he loves me. When I look up, 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 I know he's real. When I look down, 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 I believe what I found. When I look in God's word and I search for him, he rewards me. Cause he loves me When I look up, up, up I know he's real When I look down, down, down I believe what I found When I look in God's word And I search for him He rewards me Cause he loves me Cause he loves me